I kind of thought, I don't need this. I'm okay with my emotions. I talk to people. I've got a good friendship network, a network at home where I can talk to people about my feelings and my emotions. And I kind of, for the first couple of weeks, probably thought a bit like that. I was probably a bit stubborn. I was, I was selfish, really. Um, and what this process has told me is that actually, as much of this process has been about individual people talking about their emotions and feelings, it's been about the power of a group. And it probably only really runs home to me yesterday when we were here set up and it was the first time I was really able to take a step back and look at all the fantastic work that had been done since November. Um, first time I've been able to stand there and look at all these fantastic you know, portraits that are up around the outside of, of the room. And when I was looking at them, I started reflecting on the sessions we've had and remembering what people were talking about when they were doing the portraits and the conversations that had happened and how people had shared things because other people had shared things. You know, we hadn't wanted to say something but someone else said something and it triggered something in them which started the conversation. And to me it really made me reflect only really yesterday, if I'm being honest, about how powerful the group's been. And that actually a lot of the time we talk about emotional well-being and we talk about mental health and, you know, words that scare people. And obviously the stigma and the stereotypes which other people have already mentioned today about you know lads don't talk and, and it's because they don't want to be seen. I think one of the, the lads earlier said, you know, we only share their emotions, that type of stigma. And actually it's been completely the opposite. And actually by being part of that group, I've been able to kind of help other people as well and also probably realise that I probably don't share any emotions as well as I think I do. And um, anyone who knows me knows I'm, I don't think I'm a very artistic person. But actually, by the second or third session, I was really into my canvas and what I was putting on there and why it was significant and why it had a meaning. So I think that, that whole emotional well-being thing is really important. And actually, just some of the simple things, like having a network, having a safe space where you can talk to people in an environment that's maybe a bit removed from your day-to-day, -day, has been massive. And I think it's had a massive impact on everyone who's been part of it in different ways. You know, whether that's you know, an impact on a, on a young person or a leader being able to share the feelings for the first time or an impact on someone like myself who's quite selfish at first thinking about what I'm going to get out of this and what this is going to do for me and not thinking about actually the impact it will have on others and um, I suppose I'll just finish my bit by saying you know, it really has opened my eyes to the importance of everyone being able to support each other, you know, and men being able to support men and giving them that safe space and, and environment to talk because it doesn't always need to be a treatment counsellor or a CAMS and a mental health service. It's right that they are there for, for the people who need them, but actually there's a lot of power and a lot of weight to us being there for each other and being able to, to talk and being able to encourage and support other males to talk. So that's it, I've been